All right, Formula One 2020 season, the final Grand Prix event is United States Grand Prix, taking place, of course, at uh, the Circuit of the Americas down in Austin, Texas. So let's uh, check out, considering that this is the final event, uh, if you've been kind of following chronologically, so obviously in the tab it's the number nine now if you're going through these events later on um then you can do any of these events in any order you want from what i understand um because they will be all unlocked for you to tackle uh with that being said i don't think <laughs> this would be a good event to start off with. I mean, it is better to start off with the events, earlier events, to uh, because they just have a lower PR requirement to get through. Um, so it's cheaper, you know. And then once you got the, once you earned a couple of cars in the season, and then you've raced them a bit to build up their uh, driver XP, and then uh, once you got you know, reach certain number, certain amount, then you can um, head on over to one of these later Grand Prix events with the higher PR requirements. Um, now, with that being said, this event itself, I completed it on my other account. Um, these set PR requirements um, events are generally pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, cost of entry is the most difficult part as in it does get pretty expensive. So for this event, uh, the American or United States Grand Prix, the PR requirement is uh, basically varies from 126.8 all the way up to 127.2. So of course, that's based on the base PR. So Mercedes, of course, have the highest base PR starting at 116. So for Mercedes, the PR requirement, final PR requirement for completing this event is 127.2. And uh, uh, Red Bull Racing is the next highest with a base PR of 115.9. So it's 0.1 PR point lower than Mercedes. So its uh, final PR requirement is also 0.1 PR point lower at 127.1. And then it goes on to the next group of cars like Ferrari, McLaren, Renault, and Racing Point all have the same base PR of 115.8. So they all have the final PR requirement of 127. And then the final group, Alfa Tori, Alfa Romeo, Haas, and Williams, they have the lowest uh, starting base PR at 115.6. So their PR requirement is going to be 126.8 the lowest one so basically it what it is is uh, regardless of the base PR the cost to meet the PR requirement is going to be the same regardless so considering that this is the final um, Grand Prix event I'll talk a little bit maybe about um, strategy for you know meeting the PR requirement because once the event get started it's um i finished it um i want to say in about like hour and half or so it took me about 90 minutes to complete all five stages yes this is a five stage event um not one of those longer seven event stage that you have to wait in between stages like 24 hours no this one you can go straight through and they do give you three hour instant um service and instant R&D on tuning setups once you start the event. So that's, you know, kind of nice because if you have essentially a couple of hours and you got enough resources to complete this event, you can do it pretty quick. So uh, in terms of tuning setup available, they all have the same number of tuning setups, the 28 um, tuning setups you can get. So the that means the uh, amount of principal XP that you're going to gain, the max is going to be always set to 4,200, basically 150 principal XP per tuning setup, right? So you multiply that by 
you know, 28, then you get uh, 4,200. So, um, if you buy, basically if you max out the tuning setup for the United States Grand Prix tuning setup, that will cost you 3,318,600 motorsport dollars. So, um, if you're, I guess, starting from scratch, then that is 13 days worth of um, farming, right? 250,000 per day. So, yeah, that's going to take a while to get you there. But hopefully you already have banked up a few, so you don't have to start from scratch. And this is what I mean, you know, and the tuning setup, maxed out tuning setup, doesn't even actually meet the PR requirement that they require because uh, what you're getting uh, when you max out the PR requ uh, tuning setup um, tuning setup gets you the boost of 8.9 PR point so if you're starting from let's take uh, Mercedes for just for simpler number so Mercedes start at 116 and obviously if you get 8.9 PR point boost that gets you up to 124.9 so you are still like 2.3 PR point shy of meeting the PR requirement of 127.2 for Mercedes and that applies for every team basically you know you're off by the same exact amount the difference is the same you know what I mean so um, that means you have to pick up the remaining uh, deficit PR requirement uh, PR deficit uh, somewhere else so you got a couple of options you can go with um, either get all the uh, remaining PR points from uh, maxing out the team principal Right, all the way up to level 13, that'll give you exactly 2.3 PR point that's necessary here. But uh, that does get pretty pricey because that'll cost you 433 gold. And on top of that, um, principal XP, you need 9,000. You know, and only way you're gonna boost your um, team principal XP is, or the quickest way of doing it is obviously purchasing tuning setups. and. Uh, from this event, you only get up to 4,200. So where do you find the remaining 4,800, right? Um, so obviously, if you are using a team that you've already used before, then your team principal might already have a few points banked up, maybe 4,800 already banked up. Then you can just uh, max, max out the the team principal XP and don't bother with the driver XP or level up at all, right? But, you know, that's uh, pretty pricey. But of course, there's uh, some extra perks of having double service bars uh, available once you max out the team principal XP. So, I don't know. But that's, you know, like a lot of XP for principal just to run an uh, run through a Grand Prix event. So let's talk about some. So the my recommendation is going to be combination of the two, which is what I'm going to be doing in this uh, playthrough. Uh, once I do it, this one, this video, I'll just talk about it. I'm not going to do any racing in this particular video. I'll just do a bit of an overview. The event itself is super easy. As I said, you can finish like pretty quick. So the team, um, that I am planning on using for this account is going to be Ferrari uh, because my driver level is level 6 and team principal level is level 9. So that um, at level 9, I'm getting 1.6 PR point, point boost from the team principal and the driver at level 6, I'm getting uh, another 0.4 or no, how many do I get? Actually, I do get pretty decent amount of PR point boost from level six. Level five to level six is 0.4 PR point boost. So um, that does give me a decent head start. 
So that is、uh, one way to go about it. And if I want to essentially kind of save on the number of tuning setups that、um, I would spend money on, basically, then I can go with、uh, leveling up the team principal as I purchase the tuning setups, right? Because team principal will be gaining、uh, XP. So,、um, higher, obviously. Principal XP, I can upgrade to higher level than level 9. So, that is、um, probably the ideal option. So, for example, I could pick、um, Alpha Tori. It says level 1 for team principal, but actually, the, that's because I just didn't convert any of the team principal XP from this team to actual level up because that costs a lot of gold. Right, as you guys probably know, and、uh, for Alpha Tori, my team principal has some 8,000 um principal XP, so I'm gonna max out at 9,000 pretty quickly. So, any extra prince uh tuning setups that I have to get is more or less gonna be you know. Like the team principal XP that I can gain is gonna be forfeited essentially. So that's one of the reasons、um, like I could run with the maxed out team, like both、uh, Mercedes or、uh, Red Bull Racing in this account are maxed out. So when they're maxed out,、um, of course, what's the benefit there?、Um, I'm starting with the 5.4 Pion. Point higher, so that means I would need to make up the 5.8 remaining PR points to meet the PR requirement,、uh, which would still cost me some 1,815,400 motorsport dollars. And、uh, I would need to get,、um, let's see, you can go with a couple of different tuning setup、um, options. You can go with the let's see, five on gearbox mapping, three on power unit optimization, six on brakes, and then five on suspension adjustment. That will give you actually、uh, one PR point, one PR point higher than the other option, which is to go with the six tier upgrade on gearbox mapping and just. Keep the power unit down at two.、Um, they cost exactly the same. The tier six tuning setup for gearbox and tier three tuning setup for power unit optimization cost the same. So that's why you know you can go with one or the other, while the other、uh, brakes and suspension, you know, six tiers and five tiers、um, can remain the same. So, but then.、Uh, With a fully maxed out team principal, you're essentially forfeiting some 2,850、uh, team principal XP. Now, if you're not concerned about you know, spreading that to other teams, you're happy with one team that you got, they're maxed out, and you're good with that, then you don't have to worry about it. And it'll be the cheapest way to go because you already have your team maxed out. They're, you know, re- you know, you're essentially reaping the benefit. But Since these opportunities to gain principal XP is so rare, and this is the last you know, opportunity to you know, quickly、uh, build them up. So that's why I will be choosing a different team other than the ones that are <laughs> maxed out. So, something to keep in mind. And on this account, McLaren level one on both.、Um, Team principal and driver, as in, like, they have zero. Like, I haven't raced those racers after I won them. So they are pretty、uh, dismal. And because my other account, I already have maxed out Alfa Romeo. This team, I don't even own that car on this account. So obviously, that'll be the car that I'll win once I complete this、uh, United States Grand Prix event. So let's see.、Um, yeah, so. You have to kind of you know, balance out、um, 
So where you're going to get the PR from, right? PR boost from. So my thought is kind of spreading them out. So I'm going to get, uh, you know, a few tuning setups and then uh, driver XP. I'm not going to be leveling up any more than what I already have here. And uh, I will try to level up the team principal more with the extra principal XP that I'll be gaining from purchasing tuning setups here. So let's uh, check in with the um, team Ferrari here. Uh, my driver of choice for this account is Charles Leclerc. Leclerc. And uh, he's at level 6 with some 20,290 driver XP banked up towards the next level, which is going to require another about 4,700, right? 4,710 is what I'm going to need to reach the 25,000. And uh, throughout the event, I should be able to level up that much because um, there is, let's see, how much... Uh, Driver XP did I gain when I ran through on my other account earlier? Total, I gained about 8,200, 83, closer to 8,300 driver XP. So obviously that's more than 5,000, which should be enough to get me to level up um, Charles Leclerc to level 7. And if I do that, of course, um, it's going to cost me. 177 gold to do that um but i will be gaining another 0.4 pr point boost you know and i'll be that much closer to um unlocking the invitational series right so that's something to keep in mind so um basically that means that allows me to skip out on one of the tuning setups Right, so motorsports special events require a tuning setup for their unique race conditions, a balanced setup that leans towards top speed and braking performance without sacrificing acceleration and grip. Measure setup to tackle both the many turns at Circuit of the Americas as well. It's long straight. All right, by the way, um, I don't know if you really need to max out all these tuning setups because um i really like uh australian or oh, austrian austrian tuning setup the one at red bull ring that one i think is the best overall like it's got very good acceleration a really good grip and the top speed is not bad you know so and brakes, who cares about brakes, right? Now, if you are struggling with top speed challenges, like speed uh, record event, then, you know, sometimes I would, you know, sneak in the um, Italian Grand Prix, the Monza tuning setup, because that has the highest top speed tuning setup. But, you know, that's very uh, goal specific. In general, like for general racing across the entirety of all nine venues, I think uh, overall best is the strongest is the Austrian Grand Prix tuning setup. So if you have one tuning setup to max out, I would say that one. So that's why I'm like hesitant to max out this particular one because it's, uh, you know, going into it, I already kind of know like this one's not going to be as good of an option as... Um, Austrian Grand Prix tuning setup. So anyway, um, yeah, five stages. Uh, first stage and second stage, you got your free practice. And then as soon as you start the event, you got that three hour instant um, R&D as you can see. So for Scuderia Ferrari, the PR requirement is, as I said, Gonna be 127 so i got some ways to go here so let's see um for 
this tuning setup, I believe I need to get like um, 6555 might be able to get me there. So let's see if we can. So I'll get all of them across the board here. So this is going to cost me about 2 million. So if I can level up my driver um, towards a later stage, a uh, later, yeah, later stage, then uh, I may be able to skip one of the tuning setups, which would save me um, a bit of racing dollar, or not racing dollar, motorsport dollar. So. But until that point, I'm going to have to get all the ones necessary here. So obviously that gives me enough boost on principal XP here to um, level up my team principal level 10. Brings my peer up to 121.3. Got a few more we have to get still. So let's see. All right, so 122.3. Still got some ways to go. Let's see, now about here I should be careful which ones I spend my resources on because that uh, power unit optimization is getting kind of pricey. So let's go with the cheapest options first. And that gives me, gives me yet another level of opportunity for team principal. So now, Mattia is at level 11. All right, and then next, still, brake's still the cheapest option here. So we'll bring it up to level 5. I think level 6 is kind of pricey. Yeah, a little bit, not too bad. But we got cheaper options, so we'll go with the cheaper options first. Still cheaper with a gearbox. And now things are beginning to even out a bit more. So we need to get up to 127, but if I can level up driver, that means I only need to bring the PR currently up to 126.6. Um, so I got another point to go or so, yeah. So what's the best option, 130, 122? Okay, more on brakes looks like. And then we're gonna have to go with the gearbox 126.2. And then I guess I'm gonna go with the power unit there. So that brings my PR up to 126.6. Right, six, four, six, five. Okay, so um, that seems like possibly the cheapest tuning setup option. And then since I'm not going to be um, worrying too much about, let's see how much PR boost that I actually get here. If I level up my driver to level seven, do I get 127? There you go. So that to me, uh, I think is the upgrade or PR scheme that makes most sense. So basically, uh, Charles, my driver, will level up to level 7 through the event. So we'll get him up to level 7 towards a later part of the event. 
uh, using the tuning setup um, that I've got, I can level up my team principal to level 11. So I get a bit of boost there. And then tuning setup wise, I just need to get six on gearbox mapping, uh, four on power unit optimization, six on brakes calibration, and five on suspension. So that is, um, Let's see. 10, 11, 21. So 21 tuning setups total. Let's see how much that actually cost. So let's see. Let me add these numbers up here. So if I were to add, let's say six, four, four six five all right so uh the total cost is for me if i go with this uh, setup it's gonna be motorsport dollar wise it's gonna cost me two million sixty one thousand and let's see the then to get this driver up to level seven Obviously, I didn't start from zero before I started this event. I was already at level six. So additional cost was, um, what, 177 gold, but total would be 521 to this point. And then kind of the similar idea on leveling up the team principal to level 11. Um, total cost from like level one is uh, 272. So almost $800 total, but that does get me closer to unlocking that um, Invitational series, right? So, yes, but otherwise, I think, uh, let's see, I started at level 9 on the team principal, right? So, costed me 47 gold to get to level 10, 58 additional gold to get to 11, so that is about 100, a little bit over 100, right? And then for driver, I started from level 6, get up to level 7. So that's 177 gold. So, you know, just under 300 gold, you know, that I'm spending. Of course, I could have spent more on um, team uh, not team, uh, motorsport dollars. I could have spent more motorsport dollars and gotten more tuning setups instead of leveling up either team principal or the driver. But um, yeah, it's just a path that I decided to go. So, so there's that. Although I am wondering if that's really the wisest way to go if I'm planning on um, leveling up. You know what? doesn't really make that much of a difference I don't think it's one of those things you're gonna have to do eventually one way or another if you're planning on unlocking the team principal team principal invitational is what I meant so uh, I'll have all these information more or less kind of the like running with the cost association running with the maxed out team and maxed out driver option what you're gonna be missing out on if you do that. And also if you're starting uh, with, uh, if you're investing more into motorsport dollar, basically maxing out tuning setup and what you're gonna have to do uh, in order to meet the PR requirement. And then everything else in between is some sort of a combination of the two that you would have to kind of, you know, decide for what your long-term goal is in the game so all right that'll do it for this uh video and by the way once you complete all nine um grand prix events if you already own the mclaren mp44 that you see on this splash screen then you will earn 150 gold and uh i wonder do you get 500,000 motorsport dollars even if you um, already own? No, I don't think so. I think uh, if you already own McLaren 
uh, MP44, then you get 150 gold and 500,000 motorsport dollars as a season completion reward. And of course, that unlocks this MP44 World Tour um, series. Now, if you don't own that car, then you will win the car. Um, McLaren MP44 instead of the 150 gold or, and the 500,000 motorsport dollars. So, you know, yeah. It's a pretty good deal if you don't own the car. It's a difficult car to race, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a, it's an iconic car, so what can I say? So anyway, um, that'll do it for me in this video. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.